You bought this house? Yeah, for us. Sell it. Sell it? Why would I sell it? I just bought the place. We can't live here. That's exactly what you said when you first saw this place. You said it reminds you of the house that you grew up in as a child. And it brings back painful memories of your father. You don't have to do this. You don't have to, to live here to prove that you love me. I know you love me. Don't get me wrong, but uh, I don't have to prove anything. Then why did you buy the house? I ran into Babe here. Oh, and, what uh, did that little flu say? <sighs> no one can stand listening to Babe's yammering anymore, so what, did she spill her stupid ideas on you? She's a lying, manipulating idiot, especially when it comes to men. Babe, for all her faults, is trying to find a way not to let the past get in the way of the future. Yeah, well, she should be more concerned about not letting sex with my brother get in the way of her marriage. Yeah. I turned this house down once because of my past, and now I bought it because of my past. How does that make any sense? When I was 18, I faked my own death just to punish my father. And since that day, everything I've done, everything that's defined me, was because I wanted to destroy every dream that my dad had for me. But that's the past now, because Alexander Cambius is gone, and, and that's it. And this is the future, our future, yours, mine, with this house. And I'm not going to let the past get in the way ever again. All the bad memories about this house, you can just let them go and live with it? Yeah, no, they're already gone. So I need room for all the new ones I'm going to make with you. Hmm. See, here's what I was thinking. See, the pond's almost frozen. We got to get some skates for young Spike. Yeah, skates. Okay, he can't even walk. Whatever, he's going to sit with me in the Zamboni. So this is the grandstand, okay? Stadium seating right by the pond over there, and maybe, uh... I don't know, good size scoreboard. Okay, uh, where does my hot tub go? You know where it goes, it's gonna be in the locker room. Oh, okay, so our house is going to be a hockey training camp? Yeah, yeah, Spike will go uh, youth league and go through the minors and then, you know, he'll be in Detroit before he's 21. We'll just teach him whatever we have to teach him. We? We'll... What? What can I teach Spike that he can use on the oh, ice? Come on, honey. Trash talk. Kids gotta learn. He's gotta learn from the best. That's true. You got a point there. Team Slater. I like the sound of that. Yeah? Mm-hmm. <sighs> oh, there, there is one thing, one condition. If you say no to that, we're not closing on the house. Okay. What is it? I'm serious. Don't laugh at me right now. I, I won't. Tell me. I wanna know. I need two very large recliners. Red and white. So we can watch TV and watch all the games on the very big screen TV. You say no to that, no deal. Make a break right time. No, man. Mm. Deal. Well, come on. Come here. Lots of rooms, lots of childproofing. I don't even have to tell you why this would be a nightmare. When, uh, when can I order my recliners? How about we close on the house first? Sure, I'll get back to the office and call the lawyers. Okay. Okay. See you soon, house. I'll be back. Then we can start making our happy new memories. Mm.